So we are back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys we go over the latest and greatest news and leaks surrounding this game and we have some juicy information to go over today including some new stratagem testing we have a new weapon we have new patch notes we have new leaks audio and much more how's it going guys my name is dpj and the winner of my last 2100 super credit giveaway you can see on screen now if this is you hit me up on my discord to claim your winnings now do you guys want to win a copy of this game for yourself or a friend or 2100 super credits well it's as simple as this liberate this video with a massive thumbs up let's try and reach 12 likes that will be incredible make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below i will pick a comment from the comment section and announce them on tomorrow's how divers 2 videos so good luck everybody okay so we'll start off with the latest patch uh, that's hit the game so arrived this morning uh, about an hour ago and i was to make this video this is patch 0 0.1.0 .0, 0.202 so let's go hello fellow how divers piping hot fresh patch notes coming your way overview uh, the update includes stability fixes so we'll start with gameplay we have updated the stats UI for weapons to take into account any explosive damage done by them. This is to give weapons that do damage with explosive projectiles a more fair representation in the UI. Most notably affected is the PLAS-1 Scorcher. Okay, cool. So now we move on to fixes. Crash fixes. Uh, fix some crashes that occurred when deploying two missions. Fix some crashes that occurred during extraction and right after it. Fix crashes that could occur if the squad deployed a large amount of support weapons. Fix various crashes that could occur during gameplay. Fix a crash that could occur when using heat based weapons. Fix crashes that could occur if a player died while using the jetpack. Fix crash which could occur when large volumes of enemies were present. A fix crash which could occur when a player picked up a snowball. A fix crash which could occur when completing an objective. Now, I've been getting a little bit of stick, not a mass majority of stick because some people are feeling my, my uh, anger. Over the past week or so, I've barely been able to play this game for longer than 20 minutes due to crashing. I've had constant crashes for quite a while now, and I thought it was my PC. I literally almost went out and bought a PS5 just because of this. But I had a few other people saying the exact same thing as me, that they can't play the game for longer than 20 minutes due to crashing. I'm hoping now this fixes, the, the, the fixes they've done in this patch sort out my problems because it's just a pain in the ass. I can't help liberate for more than 20 minutes and that's more or less half a game. So constantly being kicked to stop me from wanting to play the game. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it is now sorted, but we will see, we will see people. Okay, so other fixes. Fix hang that could occur while navigating in the social menu and picking up medals and super credits will no longer lock the player in place. Can't say I ever had that problem, I'm not gonna lie. Now on screen now guys, you're seeing known issues. These have been introduced with a patch, with this patch or they're being worked on. Now these we have seen previously, I'm not gonna read through all these again, but if you do wanna pause the video and check these out, be my guest guys. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the leaks. Now if you don't wanna be spoiled by possible future content and story spoiler territory, leave the video now, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so first things first, we have a new heavy pistol now this thing looks like an absolute beast it's been nicknamed the freedom eagle check this bad boy out now it's definitely just a a simple placeholder model at the minute right now but it's a new weapon we haven't covered uh well i definitely haven't covered it on this channel and i go through every leak speak you know what i'm like if there's a leak i ain't covered i will cover it now i do want to do a massive compilation of the many leaks we've already gone over in regards to sorting them into categories so where they make sense when they're put together uh, but that may be another video for another day but well, this is just one of many many new weapons where are yet to see hit this game as of right now but you never know guys we've seen weapons or leaks that are just placeholder models like this a week later they're thrown into the game with just a patch so yeah you just never know with arrowhead they're on top of that content dropping so yeah so let's move on guys and we're going to move on to new leaked 
audio. This is Kara Kelly, and this is based around a TCS failure. It's a news broadcast, and it makes a lot of sense to previous leaks we have covered, but do go ahead and take a listen right now. Freedom's greetings. I'm Coretta Kelly. New updates on the backfiring of the TCS in the Meridia system. Here's the latest. A preliminary investigation by the Ministry of Science reveals that the termicide initially worked, quote, as intended, eliminating 99.6% of the terminid population on all barrier planets. However, on Meridia, some of the remaining terminids not only survived, but actually began reproducing up to 20 times faster than before. Scientists are now calling the planet a terminid, quote, super colony. The mutations caused by the termicide appear to be random, but according to the report, it is only a matter of time before the same reaction appears on the rest of the barrier planets. The Helldivers may be in a race against time to deactivate the TCS before this occurs. In other news, the disgraced scientists who developed the termicide have been taken into custody and are to be investigated for dissident infiltration. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. So we've just basically taken out the entirety of the automatons. It seems as though to me from this audio, we may try and do the same to the Terminids. But what makes even more sense is the fact now that we have seen leaked uh, what could be described as mutated bugs. We saw the acid charger and a couple of others. These could be a result of this TCS failure. So when that point does come where we have to eliminate the terminates on a full scale basis, we get this audio file, this TCS failure news broadcast, which states there's still a few of them remaining and they're now basically breeding and and reproducing that at 20 times faster rate which is wild but we're also getting mutations too so yeah this is exactly what i believe this may indeed be and it's when we might just see the uh, acid chargers and whatever else they have in store for us so it's very very interesting i love these audio leaks i'm not gonna lie I mean, having weapon leaks and enemy leaks and things that are interesting to speculate over. But when we get news broadcast audio leaks from Kurita Kelly herself, uh, it just basically showcases to us what the future may hold for us. So, yeah, very, very interesting indeed. But let me know what you think down below, guys. Now, I just want to give a little bit of credit here. Digital Hazard is the one who dropped this, uh, this news broadcast, this audio leak. And that leech weapon we just talked about, uh, credit to no band 5399 for dropping that to the world wide web. Okay, so now we're going to move on to, again, these stratagems, brand new stratagems. And these are actually being tested in game by a legendary red tiger who goes by the name of Emptiness. And we're going to start off with the new stratagem of the anti-tank mines. Now, if you check out the video, you'll see it on screen now. I won't play the entire thing because it's like four minutes long. Uh, but if you do want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Now, these anti-tank mines are very, very interesting. Now, a few more details to go with them. The calling timer is seven seconds with a 180 second cooldown. It says they do very, very high damage, heavy armor penetration. They have a five meter explosion radius and can't kill those above ground. So these are obviously for ground enemies only. And a little bit further information on the damage. He states these mines have a very high damage of 1000 and an AP of five. For comparison, the Quasar Cannon has a damage of 650 and an AP of six. While the Bio Titan head has 900 HP and requires an AP of five to be able to damage it so yes these are brutal guys they really are now it's also interesting is the fact that because they are anti-tank it seems as though they need uh, sufficient weight to detonate them so maybe uh, just maybe the smaller enemies will not detonate these these are left for the big boys so yeah very very cool but we'll need to be strategized around where you use these so yes these are the anti-tank mines Okay, so next up we have the same Redditor Emptiness showcase and testing the Airburst Rocket Launchers. Now these, to me, look absolutely incredible. It's like a 
handheld cluster bomb can shoot off your shoulder, which I love the look of. And you're seeing this on screen. Now, again, the video is longer than what I want to showcase. So if you want to check out the full thing, you'll find it linked down below in the video description. But a few more details on these beasts. Uh, it's got a calling time of seven seconds with a cooldown of quite hefty 480 seconds. It says it's got a huge area of effect and it does great, great damage. It's medium armor penetration. Um, it's ammo is one plus five in the backpack and a refill is a plus three with supplies and you'll receive a plus one with ammo found on the ground. Its range is 350 meters until it explodes uh, and mid-air it sends out small cluster bombs that explode too. Utterly brutal as you've seen. And these will immediately explode when something is near the projectile, which is very, very interesting indeed. So that initial shot, men actually have to hit that target. They're close to them. It will explode and cause off that massive cluster bomb. And as you probably get the feelings that I do here, this is definitely going to be the best against those massive groups of smaller targets. But yeah, you want to stay clear of this, guys. You don't want to shoot it towards your friends because they will not survive. But yes, that is the Airburst rocket launcher and a testing done by emptiness or credit to him but there we have it guys for another how divers 2 video guys if you did enjoy it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful how divers i will see you on that next one